Jack, what are we gonna draw today? A playset. Yeah, we're gonna draw a swing and also a slide. We're gonna draw a kid flying off the slide. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. We we actually like going to this really cool place next to us called Coconut Cove. Yeah. Which is an indoor playground. Mm -hmm. And ev even though it's for little kids and we don't really admit it, yeah. we, we still like going there, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it's pretty fun. And we just admitted it to the yeah. whole internet. Yep. It actually really is cool. I get a good workout when we go in there. You do sure. too. Yeah. We, we get really sweaty and you gross. get uh, very sweaty. Very sweaty. <laughs> well, it's got a lot of ladders that climb. You climb up really high. Yeah, but like mom was on the other side, like a freezing. freezing. I know, and then you're they... like, ah, it's so hot in here. <laughs> Anyways, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker, some paper, something to color with, <laughs> something to color with. All right, let's draw this. Yes. <laughs> We're first going to draw an S curve for our slide. We're going to draw it on the left side of our paper so that we have room for the swing on the right side. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw it really steep and then curve at the end. <laughs> it's going to eject get out the bottom. <laughs> it's going to go flying. <laughs> That's really steep also. <laughs> oh, That's <is> perfect. Okay. <laughs> now let's draw, let's draw another line right next to it and Towards the bottom, I'm going to get a little further away, so it's thicker down here at the bottom. Good job. There you go. And then we'll connect the top and the bottom. They're going to like come off of here, then, <laughs> and then drop and free land. Fall. Yeah, yeah. And land right on to the bottom. <laughs> it's of the not slide. much of a slide. It looks more like a pole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's draw the kid. We're going to draw him flying off the slide. This is a really dangerous slide. I'm going to draw a circle for his head. And then let's draw a square that's connected to the circle. So I'm going to draw a line that comes down, across, and then connect back up. All right, now I can draw his legs. Let's draw a line, a short line coming out here, and I'm going to draw a long line coming out from the back. <laughs> now we can draw, let's draw his feet. We'll draw an oval shape and another oval shape, and they're connected to those two lines. Perfect. Now let's let's finish his legs so they don't look like sticks. Let's draw another line to divide it. And then draw another line for his shorts. Now let's draw his arms. We're going to draw two short lines coming out. And then we can connect them. And then let's draw his little fingers. I'm going to draw three little bumps on the end of his hand. And we can <laughs> end of his arm. And then repeat the same step over here on the left side. Now, if we go too fast, remember you guys at home can always pause the video if you need extra time to finish this step. We'll connect the end and then draw three little bumps for his hand. <laughs> right. He has four fingers on that one, three right. on that one. That's okay. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna draw, let's give him a baseball hat. Now, you guys at home can use your creativity to change your drawings any way you want. You could maybe make this into a girl by giving her long hair, or you could you know, draw him without a hat. Let's draw his eyes. I'm gonna just draw two little dots. And then we could draw, <laughs> we should draw his mouth open. Uh, let's draw him open. You could draw, you could draw it different if you want. Just draw his, <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, hey, I'll make it a little more open. There you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, now let's finish the slide. Let's start right here. We're gonna draw another S curve. Now I'm gonna use overlapping because the kid, is, he's kind of coming off the slide but he's also not too far off the slide. So we're gonna imagine that line going behind the S curve and then coming out the bottom like this. And then I'm gonna curve it right at the end to match the first S curve that we drew. All right, good. Now we can draw a line. I'm gonna draw a line down and then connect it into the other S curve. And then let's draw another, let's draw a short little line here and also here. And then we can draw a U shape in between for the rest of the slide. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, now let's draw the ladder for our slide. We're gonna draw a line that comes down like this. And then let's draw another line right next to it. This is for the first pull on our ladder and then we can connect it at the bottom. Now let's draw another one for the other side. So we're going to draw two more lines right next to each other and connect them at the bottom. 
The kid looks really worried. <laughs> yeah. Now let's draw the ladder. We can start down here at the bottom and let's draw two lines right next to each other. There's for the first, that's for the first step. And then leave a little space and then draw two more lines for the second. Now let's repeat that same step and go all the way up the ladder to create all of the steps. So leave a little space and then draw two lines and repeat that all the way up. All right, now at the top of the slide, usually there's handrails to hang on to. Let's draw a little upside down U. And we can draw an even smaller one inside of that. All right, now let's draw another railing on the other side. So I'm gonna draw another U shape. Now if you need to, you can use overlapping behind the first railing and also the first and the kid. So then we can draw another U shape inside. There we go, good job, Jack, it looks awesome. Now if you want, you could leave the drawing just like this if you just want to draw a slide, but let's add the swing. Let's first start by drawing two lines that come out. This is for the top of our swing set. Then at the end, we're gonna draw an, the letter A. So first, let's draw an upside down V. And we're, I'm gonna bring these lines all the way down to the same length as our ladder. Okay, and then inside, let's draw another line next to each of those first lines. So we're gonna draw a smaller upside down V inside of the first one. And then at the bottom, let's connect the two poles. And then in the middle, let's draw the rest of the A. We'll draw two lines that's for the support in our swing set. Keeps it standing up. Yes. Okay, now we're get, we need to draw the swing, but let's first draw the little girl that's on the swing. So let's first draw her head. I'm gonna draw a big circle, the same size as our first kid. Our first child. <laughs> our first child, our second child. Our first suspect. <laughs> suspect. We're gonna draw that rectangle shape or square shape. We're gonna draw two lines down and then a line connecting. Now let's draw our legs. I'm gonna draw one line coming out this way and another line coming out the other way. And then in the middle, let's draw an upside down V. Okay, now let's draw our feet. I'm just gonna draw two oval shapes that connect each of those lines. There we go, those cute little feet. Now let's draw her hair. I'm gonna draw a straight line across for her bangs. <laughs> and we can draw our piggy toes. Let's draw a little curve coming out and then back in. Looks like a banana shape. <laughs> we'll repeat that same shape on the right. <laughs> Piggy tails. We can even draw little rubber bands in her hair if we want. <laughs> Should we draw her face? Yes. We'll draw two little eyes and I'm gonna draw her happy. Okay, We're, what are we missing, Jack? The swing. Yeah, she's Looks just like she's floating. Yeah, she's floating. <laughs> Let's draw two lines. We're gonna connect up to the top pole and we'll draw a line that comes down like this and stop at her waist. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. Good. Yeah, there you go. Now at the very bottom, let's draw the seat on the swing. We're gonna curve and we're gonna imagine it going behind her legs, in between her legs and coming out the other side. And then we need to draw one more of those lines for the seat to finish the seat. We'll draw one that connects her waist on the left and also on the right. Ah, she looks like she's sitting on the swing now. Yeah, with she no doesn't, arms. Yeah, no arms. We need to add arms. Let's draw two lines connecting to the left side and two arms connecting to the right side. And then we can draw a little C shape for her hand, backwards C on the other side. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing our swing set. It looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm missing one thing. We're gonna draw two little fast lines to make it look like he's going really fast. <laughs> What'd you do? You added fire. <laughs> I remember going that fast that it felt like I was on fire. I would actually come off the slide with burn marks. <laughs> All right, Jack, what do we still need to do to our drawings? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our play set and our children. At this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. All right.
Jack, good job on coloring your playset. I love it. And we added little extra feet on the bottom of our slide, and I had to add fire to my <laughs> kid too because I liked yours so much. He, he really is going. For, that's how I felt when I was a little kid going down the slide. <laughs> Yeah, that was the noise I made when I went down the slide also. <laughs> now you guys can add more stuff to your drawing. You can even draw a background. That would be really cool. Maybe there's a kid playing hopscotch in the background. Yeah, or wall ball. Or, well, yeah, wall ball. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your play sets. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.